To access its learning, if you come to the MIS website and go to Quick Links, and you come down to Learning Technology Links, you can see there's a full list of all the different links and services that we use at MIS over here on the right hand side. If I click on the It's Learning link, the very first one, it should take me straight to the school's It's Learning website. You can see from the URL it's a little bit different than just itslearning.com. We have our own domain, MIS, or subdomain, mis.itslearning.com. But the easiest way to find it is through the school's website. Now I'm going to log in as a fictional parent. So you can see what it looks like as a parent when you log in. <clears throat> and I'm logging in as Fred Jones. And you can see over here on the left hand side, Fred Jones has two children. He has Jane Jones and Jim Jones. So if we are looking at Jane Jones's uh, summary dashboard, you can see here there's a little bit about Jane. This stuff isn't filled in. Um, you can see straight underneath the courses that she's enrolled in. This is important because you can see she's enrolled in a grade 11 course, 11 and 12 course, a grade 12 course, a grade 11 course, and a reading, comprehensive, reading comprehension passage. There might be mistakes here, so it's always a good idea to consult with your child as to what courses they're enrolled in. If, the, if one of your children do not want to be in a certain course and they're accidentally in a course, all they have to do is speak to their teacher. You can see here next to each course that there are reports. So you can see here Mr. Muscat's or Dr. Muscat's biology class here. If I hover over this icon, this is going to give me a report for Jane. So if I click this, I can see these are all the different files that Dr. Muscat has uploaded to his course. You cannot access these files yourself, only your child can access these files. But you can see whether your child has actually accessed the file or not, whether they've clicked it to view it or download it. Now you can see here that Dr. Musket has a lot of stuff up here. My guess is at the start of the year that he uploaded all of the course materials on here and the students can access the course materials as they need it. So just because something says it's not read, it does not necessarily mean that your student isn't doing what they have to be doing. If the teacher contacts you and says, I've had a look at my course dashboard and Jane has not accessed the course outline and she was supposed to, you can log in and view that same information. So if we go back to Dr. Muscat's course again, we can go to the course overview. You can see there's a little clipboard next to his class. That means that Mr. Muscat is using It's Learning as his planner, as his teaching planner. You can see down here next to the economics class that the planner is grayed out. That means these teachers aren't using the planner in their course. They're obviously planning a different way, which is fine, and that's what the, the teachers can choose how they plan. Um, but we can see here that Dr. Muscat is using the planner. So if we click on the planner, Let's see what comes up. You can see there's no active plans for the up for upcoming. If we go to all past, maybe we can see if there's any other plans in here. And you can see that in the past, you can see dates, you can see the lesson outline and resources in here as well. So you can see Dr. Musket has uploaded a lot of information or added a lot of information to his plan. My guess is when we looked at all upcoming, my guess is Dr. Musket has the lessons already planned in his planner, but he just hasn't made them active for the students. So there's a feature that the teachers can change the activity for the students or not. So I would say that he's waiting for the lesson to be taught before he actually makes that active. You can go through the other courses as well and see the planner and I'm sure there's different levels of uh, detail that the teachers have gone into. Some teachers might have a lot of information in there, other teachers might not have so much and that's totally up to the teacher as well. You can see over here are some events. You can see the German there's what, one, two, three, four events. My guess is, is these are lessons. So these are lessons that the students 
um, will synchronize up with in the planner. And then over here you can see if there's any tasks, tasks to complete. So you can see Jane has two tasks that she hasn't done. You can read what the task actually is. It's a written task, it's just a quiz. And if it says that your child has not done them, then I would talk with the child first and ask whether it was a compulsory quiz or what they had to do for the quiz and then you can follow up with the teacher and see if your child needs to do that quiz or not if that's what you would like to do. And then down here are the completed activities that your child has done. So if we have a look at Jim Jones over here, he'll have a very similar dashboard. You can see he has a lot of tasks that are overdue. Now again, I would speak to my child before contacting the teacher or getting too upset because these tasks might not have been compulsory. You can see down here, he has completed two of the tasks. He's created his aerobics goal setting, which he's completed, and he's designed a fitness plan. Not improved means that the task was submitted to the teacher and the teacher has marked it and given the student feedback um, and then the student has time to then update their work. If they have not updated their work, it will say not improved here. So that is a general overview of the student dashboard. Um, these events here are replacing the iCal events that we used to be using last year. Um, and you should be able to see the events listed here. Your child should also be able to go into their calendar and click on the monthly view and see all of the different assessments that are coming up for them in that calendar inside its learning. Okay, if you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to contact me, uh, Mitch Norris, in the Middle School Help Desk at Munich International School.